What's up, guys? Welcome to Toys TV. Yeah. So today we have another episode of Unbox. Ex Unbox. Ex Unbox. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, Joe, for coming up here to do this episode for me. Yeah, oh, no, not with me. Man. With me, not for me. <laughs> yeah, for him, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker from Jedi. Yeah. From Hot Toy. Hi, Joe. What's up? Okay, so let's do a head to toe. The Jedi Master look, right? Yep, he basically has uh, two outfits in the movie. Yeah. And one it's the, the Jedi outfit, and the other one it's the Ando battle. Yeah. With the helmet and the, and the camouflage. Yeah, maybe we call final duel model, right? But uh, what I have here it's uh, the one with the cloak, which is yeah. in the beginning of the movie. He went back to Tatooine and yeah. you know visit Jabba's uh, palace. Yeah. Are you looking at the accessories right now? Oh no no no, from head to toe first. Oh, and this okay. is the first look and the Jedi Master look with the cloak. Yeah. yeah. When the, Yeah. When the guard opened the Gamorian guard opened up the gate. It's actually that scene is quite controversial. Yeah. There are some people saying that he used the force choke on the Gamorian guard. Yeah. And some people said he didn't do it. But I think he did. Yeah, he did use the force in yeah. in some way. Yeah, although maybe he didn't kill them. Maybe Jabba the had already let the Gamera guard to open the gate for him. We don't yeah. know. And okay. the material here, yeah, I think it's the same material we find in the Anakin. Uh, I think most most audience might like might, might like to know what is the fabric come from. This is the similar fabrics from your you know everybody would have one uh, for. People wearing glasses. Yeah, spectacles. microfiber. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very soft, but uh, because of the fabric is so f fine, so they can have a right, you know, uh, white style or white shape when we're doing in such a small yeah. scale. Basically, it drapes very naturally. Yeah. And it looks like, you know, it's one, one to one scale, like a yep. real cloak. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the accessories. Oh, there's so many hands. Yeah, I think this one it's either the record of having the most hand or you know either the first or second one. Yeah. If you count it, there uh, the total is eleven. Oh. But I think uh they have to give us so many hands because they have he has so many hand gestures. Yeah, hand yeah. gesture, yeah. Like this one, you know, as he's using the force. Yeah. And with the palm open, it's also force related. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, he has the um, uh, the, the arm. I mean, the the hand with the with the glove, and then the battle damage one. This one is, I think, unique to this figure. Mm. Uh, it happens in um, the battle on Jabba's uh, sail barge. Oh, yeah. He got shot on on the back of the hand, and that's how the the damage came from. Mm. If you are paying attention, you can actually see the same uh, battle scar mm -hmm. in episode 8. Yep. The old Luke. And of course, this is the kind of like the signature from uh, Hot Toys mm -hmm. with the arm holding the lightsaber hill, uh, which is battery operated. Mm -hmm. And there's a switch. So you put the blade on, mm -hmm. kind of like this. Put on the switch. Yeah, it's too bright here, but you yeah. know it's. But you can turn. Yeah, on. you yeah, can turn yeah, it. Yeah, we see a different. We see a different. Yeah. Okay. And there's a second lightsaber blade, mm -hmm. which kind of simulate the the you know the wheeling action of him you know moving the lightsaber around. Yeah. Can we try? Can we try to, to, to use with the light light up? It fits on here and then again it's kind of too bright in here. I don't think you can can you see a we difference? Can see a difference. Yeah the, a little bit, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, so you well. saved you some time uh, doing the Photoshop. <laughs> you know, you just take a picture of him holding this and it looks like you've actually photoshopped the lightsaber. Okay. And this is the um, the handcuffs yep. when he surrounded himself to uh, the Emperor mm -hmm. or to Darth Vader and they put on the handcuffs yeah. and this is also a classic 
if you have the Canon uh, action figure, you may remember this. No. It actually came with the figure back then. And this is the light saber hilt you know, yeah the normal regular lightsaber yeah this one is for show and it doesn't have the light up function it has this uh triangle ring that yeah. you know to hang on the belt you can put on his belt like oh, this okay. yeah very cool and i actually have a comment on this and i'll tell you guys later on what yeah. i think about this hilt. okay and we are going to show the second look, right? Yep. So we are at the second look of Luke right now. And basically, you know, we just took the cloak off. And this is how, how it looks like out of the box with the tunic, belt, and you know, the rest is just the same. And I want to point out that the boot, you see the boot over here? Yeah. It's actually one piece. But yeah. it's, it's not broken into into two oh, pieces. This one is a real fabric boot. Yeah. Uh, platter, I think this is platter. Yeah, platter. Yeah. yeah. And this is also platter, so it's wrapped around some kind of plastic piece yes, inside. Yes, yep. yes, correct, correct. So this is not a functional boot for, you know, real 1-6 scale action figures. But I think it this uh, design looks a lot better than you know two yeah. pieces yeah then the separate parts yeah it yeah. looks like it's it's one piece and you can see actually mm. the crease over here it looks very natural see the back again the the making of the costume is of very high quality and uh, yeah this uh, fabric is a little bit elastic yeah and uh we were saying it's uh like spandex or polyester yeah. kind of material yeah. some people say this kind of liger material but anyway uh, lycra. Yeah. yeah but joe you are going to show us some secret with the heads right uh you want to show right now yeah yeah, yeah all yeah, right yeah. Yeah. and i don't know the purpose of yeah. doing this so but we found that when we play with one, two, three, go! Oh, oh my! There's a magnet, and this design it's kind of like the <laughs> Thor Gladiator, yeah, right? Where yeah. we just did one, and it has a similar design. Yeah. And what's your guess about you know having this kind of? I think other they, than having the hair. Yeah, separate? I think they might have a plan B for the project. They might have a you know double hairstyle accessory parts to replace with. With, or maybe a second hair scrub. I'm thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably you're right. Or maybe, but for some advanced level customizers, they can, they can replace with a knitted hair. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's good for customizers. They, 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 they can do what they want if they have some, you know, resources to make a knitted hair or something like another mm. scrubbed hair. I wish they they have the second hair with the wind blowing like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Because this picture is so iconic. Yep. So back in the days, uh, there are many books, uh, like photo books or illustration book about Jedi when the movie came out, and they used this photo as a cover of the book. Yeah. I remember I have one, and I still remember this photo. Mm -hmm. So this is a mystery part of yep. this figure. We don't know what happened. Why there is a <laughs> <laughs> you know, removable hair. Yeah, you um, have to you have to talk to Hot Toys about that. Okay, so here we go. The third look, right? Yep. So this is the third look, uh, which happens at the end of the movie, and I want to point out that uh, the belt, it's just Velcro, mm -hmm. so it's very simple and easy to take out. And this is the light up hand. Mm -hmm. We put on the light up hand with the uh, lightsaber hill. Yeah. See if we could turn it on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And at the very end of the movie, he has this look. Like and that. this part is a magnet, so it kind of sticks on and then fold it out. It yeah. looks like this. From what I read, mm -hmm. they're saying that 
he's uh, starting out as a Jedi Master, but he kind of lost his way a little bit, so he's being too dark. That's why he's wearing all black. And at the end, he found the love of his father, Darth Vader. And from deep in, he, yeah. you can see, you know, it's not all dark and black yeah. and there's still some white inside. Yeah. That's one theory. I, I don't know. But, you know, I, I read it somewhere. But I think this is, this all black look is the most cool looking, you know. Yeah, it's very menacing and I almost say that, you know, why is he wearing all black if he's a Jedi? Yeah. And you can see that, you know, like Obi-Wan and the other Jedi, they don't wear all black. Yeah. Only Anakin wears all black. Yeah. So this is kind of like a mystery. Is it like foreshadowing that maybe someday, you know, he's going to turn to the dark side and, you know, yeah. become a, uh, somebody that, you know, just like Darth Vader? Uh, which is kind of like the one of the storyline in, in the comic books. Yeah. So okay, you wanna uh, maybe some get fun. together and then uh, conclusions. Yeah, do some summary. Yeah, I think uh, for a classic Star Wars fans, I think uh, this is very good collections or must have a collection for Die Hard. Uh, Star Wars fans, because True. yeah, because yeah. Uh, at that time Luke is the, has his most powerful skill and uh, a very good ending that uh, the the good people win, right? One. Yeah, the light side of the force won, and then uh, you know this one has his special lightsaber mm -hmm. that he made. He's, he's a, finally a Jedi Master and then, you know, the Empire finally got beaten, so yeah. it's a good ending. Yeah. Um, but for me, uh, I would say the lightsaber hilt, mm -hmm. it is kind of pop accurate. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, there's nothing new in the Star Wars universe. Everything yeah. is used, right? Yeah. But this thing is so shiny, look. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful and shiny, it, it looks like you just picked that up from the store. Oh, yeah. And if you look at the pictures of the prop, it's all scratched up and then, you know, mm -hmm. it's dirty and it's used. Yeah. And somehow they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So I wish they have some weathering on, on the lightsaber here. Yeah, but, uh, they did that for the gun, you know, there's some weathering yeah, on it. Yeah. Or maybe you can say think that, uh, you know, most of the light, you know, they are Jedi light, right? The light uh, have have their weapons or or, or sword, a uh, polish, uh, clean every day to make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I, I may well, think that way. Yeah. Okay, but I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the second thing is they don't have the the second hairstyle, hairstyle, or, hairstyle. you know, and they went through the trouble of doing this and I, I don't yeah. know what the point is and yeah, you know if yeah. they were planning to do something why didn't yeah. they just release it yeah maybe owing to the limit of the budget or the price or the price for uh, the retail price know. maybe there's some licensing issue I don't yeah, know but yeah. I wish they have that and then that will be a much better uh, look because you, you can do two looks maybe, maybe yeah. they have a plan to do a second version you know with different hairstyle I don't know maybe yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. so and uh, also one thing to mention is uh, people uh, kind of discover that you know there are some kind of uh, material stuffed mm -hmm. inside his body mm -hmm. to make him look bulkier yeah or muscular uh, more muscular then. probably compared to episode 5 yeah, they, yeah. maybe they use the same body and then they bulk it up like that yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a matter of taste you know some people say oh he's getting fat and I I think it's all right but you know it's just one thing to point out it if you put it side by side against uh, episode 5 Luke, you may find out mm -hmm. So, but uh, I have no complaint for these figures, but this is a very good one. Uh, I think the head sculpt, you know, it's definitely above average. It's an excellent rendition of uh, Mark Hamill. Yeah. It looks just like him. Yeah. And I'm, you know, giving a very high score yeah. for that. And, oh, 
on the base, you know, there's uh, some kind of design. I can't remember what this is from, maybe from the emperor's uh, base or something. To put on the back, and there are two extra different floors. Yeah, this is from probably from Jabba's uh, yeah. palace, yeah. and this is from the sand dunes of uh, Tatooine. Yeah. So you can just put it there, and then you know, you take this thing out mm -hmm. and put it there. Yeah. And I guess that's about it. Do you have anything to add? Uh, nothing. Uh, this is yeah. For me, it's very good. You know, I'm a diehard, diehard classic Star Wars fans. Yeah, it is a must have if you yeah. have your budget. Okay, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you check on our Facebook and YouTube. Bye bye. Bye.